Hi everyone, it's Mr. Mullenholz here with a quick troubleshooting tip for how to navigate the MCPS Instructional Activities Center. Uh, this is accessible through the Montgomery County Public Schools website. Uh, the easiest way to get to it is to go to the website and scroll down to where you see the coronavirus preparedness information. And under that, there's a link for Instructional Activities Center. Many of you have called the office this morning letting us know that you're having an error when you log in. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that error looks like. And then I'm gonna show you how to navigate around that error. So my daughter is a uh, third grader in MCPS, so I'm gonna use her credentials as an example. I do wanna stress that MCPS sent out a frequently asked questions document in the email that was sent to you. I wanna point you to that for all of your troubleshooting uh, tips. I'm a I'm, uh, uh, so-so principal, I'm not a very good tech person, so just know my limitations here, but here's what it looks like. So Lily is in third grade. Uh, shout out to all the elementary school, Miss Pettit's class, hope everybody's doing well. I'm gonna click on the third grade curriculum. I'm then gonna scroll down to third grade activities and we're gonna click on join here. Now you're redirected to the Montgomery County Public Schools uh, My MCPS classroom. Uh, this is not the Google classroom. Many of our students are, are seeing them as the same. They are not the same. You're gonna click on staff and students and uh-oh, guess what? It's a 403, that's an error. So here's what we're gonna do. This is a common error that people are having. And all it means is that your child's login credentials are currently not loaded into your Google Chrome browser. I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up a new tab and you're gonna navigate. It should bring you to google.com. If not, do uh, get yourself over to google.com. It's just where my landing page is. You're gonna go over here to the icon for you. In this case, it's a picture of me in front of a picture of Kurt Cobain. Uh, just happens to be that. So we're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna scroll down to add another account. So when you do that, you're gonna bring up, uh, it may look something like this. Uh, you're gonna wanna use another account. And this is where you're gonna enter in your child's mcpsmd.net. Uh, account and for this in this case my daughter's is already preloaded here so i'm going to click and then when it gets time to the password you're going to enter in the password for your child and click next all right at which point uh you may want to review the terms of service yep got it google all right so here's what we're going to do the easiest thing to do is go back to where you started i'm going to click on third grade activities it then says staff and students. So I'm going to click on this and look at that. So now Lily's information is right here. I'm going to click on that. And she's in. All right. We have the grade three resources. We hope that this was informative for everyone. Uh, we're going to go to the course. I'm just going to show you some of the information here very quickly. Uh, but down below, you'll see all of the information. By the way, she loves it. As you can see, she's already completed a number of the activities. So we're excited about this. Uh, I will tell you that my wife and I have had a blast working through this with her. So hopefully this was a helpful tutorial. Uh, as I said at the beginning, if you need anything specific, please do look to that frequently asked questions document uh, and let us know how we can help. Thanks so much. Stay safe, stay healthy.